Hello and welcome to my channel all about decoupage. Hi, I am Veronica and in today's video I'm gonna show you how I made this 3D orca ornament. If you have any questions after watching this video just let me know in the comments and I will be more than happy answer those. So let's get started with this project. For this project I've chose plastic medallion then I looked for the middle of the medallion after finding the middle I measured 5 cm with the ruler and I just draw a circle around the ornament then I took my plastic knife cutter and I cut the hole out. Then with an exacto knife I cut out any imperfection of the hole. Then I painted the ornament with white paint uh, the same way outside like inside. I painted it twice, let it dry between each layer. I have this custom rice paper printed so I have chosen the orca image and some other image as well first I am cutting out the orca image with water pen if you don't have water pen just use small amount of water and brush then I am making sure it will fit inside my ornament and after that I am tearing it up in few places then I am applying a little bit of decoupage glue onto the inside of the ornament. Then I am placing my rice paper image inside the ornament, making sure it will fit the right way. And after that, I am gluing it with more decoupage glue, making sure there is no excess of the glue because that will dry out white not clear with the other rice paper i turn it over to the other side i am seeing where the middle of the rice paper is then i am taking my ruler again and making a circle around the ornament. Since my ornament is around 12 centimeters, I am measuring my ruler a little bit more. So I am giving it like seven centimeters and then I am making the circle. And then after that, I am just cutting out my circle rice paper with water pen and then i am tearing up my rice paper in few places again and also again i am applying a little bit of decoupage glue on the the ornament itself then i am applying the rice paper carefully onto the ornament and gluing it all the way round with more decoupage glue making sure there is no wrinkles around i can see a wrinkle forming so i am cutting it 
little bit deeper onto the rice paper and then I am gluing it some more and again a little wrinkle is forming so I am just cutting it and then I am gluing the rice paper onto the ornament. Just take your time with bigger images because the wrinkles will be forming more. I had some rice paper left and instead of throwing it out, I decided I'm gonna glue it on the other side of the ornament as well. So I am just gluing the pieces of the rice paper here and there. Then I let the whole thing dry. After it is dry, I have painted the inside of the ornament with some blue and beige paint. I go even inside the rice paper itself for better blending. Then with a dabber I am applying a little bit of paint on the other side of the ornament as well. After the paint is dry I am sealing it with my glitter decoupage glue. Of course this step is fully optional and you don't have to do it if you don't have glitter decoupage glue. If you do just make sure again not to do any excess of it because this will dry out white not clear to seal my ornament i used pouring glaze of course you can use glossy varnish as well i applied about four layers of the glaze let it dry between each layer After it was dry, it was time to decorate my ornaments. So I am using air drying clay, a mold and some glue to glue a whale on the other side of the ornament. For the inside of the ornament to make it like 3D look, I used some mold, air drying clay, and of course I needed a glue to glue it all. All materials I use will be listed in description box below. Just please note, I am in Slovakia, so most of the links will be to shop which are european based if i cannot find the exact mold i used i will be putting something similar to it
On a little bit of styrofoam, I am also gluing some clay designs, like a cute little turtle. Here you can see how we all make mistakes by taking out my turtle from the mold her head just stayed there so i had to make a new one so then i am gluing everything on the styrofoam and i let the images dry On the sides of the ornament I used a pearl mold and I am gluing it all around the ornament. And the Opening on the ornament, I use a different kind of pearl mold as well. To make the ocean feeling perfect, I am gluing uh, some seashells on the top of the ornament as well. After I am satisfied with my clay design, it is time to let it dry. After it was dry, it is time to paint the inside of the ornament and the outside of the ornament as well. So I am painting the clay part of my ornament and again I am wiping off any excess of the paint with wet towel.
the same way I am painting the images on my styrofoam as well. With a cutout sponge, kitchen sponge, I am applying a little bit of beige paint and white paint onto the ornament. After everything was dry, it is time to seal our clay part. So I am using matte varnish. Of course, you can use glossy one as well. The varnish is water-based. And of course, I am just sealing the clay part with varnish, not the rice paper part. For a little bit of shimmer, I am using this wax paste and since it can become a little bit messy, I am using gloves for this part. And again, of course, this part is fully optional and you don't have to use wax pastes if you don't want to. And now it is time to glue my styrofoam decorated pieces. I am using body gel for this part. I have noticed it is better to glue with body gel than with normal glue. Let it dry. And here it is my orca ornament, my ocean inspired ornament. I hope you liked watching this video. Let me know if you would do this kind of 3D ornament. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please do give me a thumbs up or a nice comment. Until next time. Bye.